Alright, so in this number three video, we are going to be talking about palindrome, so let's get started. Alright, so you've probably seen a number that, such as like 101. When you reverse the digits of this number, you will get the same number. So let's do that. We're going to place a 1. And we're going to get back the same number. Now, palindromes can be in words, but today we're going to be talking about palindrome numbers. Now, palindrome numbers can be anything from something like 66 to 101. So today we're going to be talking about the different types of palindromes. Let's start off with a one digit. One digit palindromes, well if you reverse the digits, there's only one digit, so you'll just get back that digit. I guess you could call any one digit number a palindrome. So that would be in the form X. Now we're going to move on to two digit palindromes. Two digit palindromes are in the form where X is a digit. X, X. Now for a two digit to number to be a palindrome, you need to have both digits be the same. 66, we have 6 and 6. They're the same. 55 is a palindrome. Both digits, they're the same. Now let's talk about three-digit palindromes. Here's where it gets a little bit more interesting. Three-digit palindromes are in the form, have multiple forms. We have x, y, x, all positive integers to form three-digit palindrome. We can have x, 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 and those are the two forms. For your three-digit, you have your two-digit, you have your one-digit. Now, four-digit palindromes get a little bit more interesting. You have palindromes with something like 4,004, which is a palindrome. When you reverse a digit, you can get back 4,004. In every single palindrome, both of your outermost digits have to be equal. In one-digit numbers and two-digit numbers, there's no, like, outermost digit, like, both numbers are just outer. But when you get to the three-digit palindromes, both, like, the outer digits, the, the units place, the ones place, and the highest, the highest place, the hundreds, hundreds place, it, depending on your four-digit or three-digit palindrome. These, the outer digits have to be the same. Now let's talk about the inner digits of a four-digit palindrome. When we reverse these inner digits, we have to get back the same number. So if we reverse 4004, we're going to get the same number. But if we reverse, let's say, 4674, if we do this, we're going to get 4764, which is not the same thing. So this is not a palindrome. And we notice that this is just the rules of a two-digit palindrome. Two-digit palindrome. So we can conclude that we can, we can have multiple types of four-digit palindromes. We can X. We can have X, Y, Y, X. Can be a four-digit palindrome. X, we have two outer. They're the same. Digits. We can also have X, 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 X. Everything's the same. That's also a possibility. So those are the main your main two possibilities for four-digit palindromes. And we can keep going on and on and on, but in number theory, your main in number theory problems, identifying a palindrome can be useful in many cases, but in, in reality, if you're just gonna look for any problem, palindromes are pretty rare numbers. Which is why you'll probably get palindrome problems in number theory that are centered around palindromes, which is why you should be familiar with every single sort of formation of palindromes, right? Three-digit palindromes, four-digit palindromes, one to one, well, one and two-digit palindromes, two-digit palindromes are pretty obvious, but three-digit, four-digit, and five-digit palindromes are pretty important. So that's the basic introduction of palindromes. Hopefully this video was helpful, and yeah.